the blood, oh the precious blood of the Lamb. And if you look at the life of Jonah, there are some startling parallels that you can make to your life. I done made mine already. I'm right here where God want me to be, whether y'all like me or not. I just decided I ain't running from God no more. I'm going to do exactly what God told me to do. Amen. Because some of these storms that we have in life, they're not just happenstance. They're not just coincidental. Sometimes the storms in your life, the trouble that's in your life, is because you are not answering your call. Watch your text now, watch your text because somebody running here this morning. We're going to see if we can catch you this morning and get you back to where God needs you to be. Amen, somebody? Now, now, the first thing we see in this text is verse number one. Because in verse number one, the Bible says, and the word of the Lord came unto John. See, you don't know nothing until you hear the word. Because the word got to come to you. Because what the word does is, is the word reveals to you what God's will is for your life. And you don't know what God is calling you to do. You don't know what God's will is until you come into contact with God's word. Y'all say amen right here. Uh, because, because the word has to reveal God's divine order for your life. And you've got to expose yourself to the Word of God. I'm glad you're here this morning because the Word going to reach you this morning. Uh-huh. The Word going to get you this morning. The Word going to you, get, you, uh, get you this morning. Because sometimes when we don't want to even know what God has in store for us, we ignore the Word. But you can't find out what God has in store for you. You can't find out what God's will is for you until you are exposed to the Word of God. And I like it. Because oh, verse number one says, and, and the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, you need to get up, go to Nineveh, to that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. Y'all see this in the text? Because Jonah, I put something in you, son. It's been in you before the foundation of the work. Before you were even born, I gave you your call. And how many of y'all know that you get your call before you even get here? Amen. Amen. All you got to do is read your Bible there in Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. The Bible says, Jeremiah, you tell me what you can't do. I say, you can do it. Because I put this in you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I knew you. And before you came forth, I have sanctified you. I have appointed you to do what I told you to do. God ain't going to send you to do what he don't qualify you to do. Come on here, church. And if God sent you, it's because God put it in you. That's why you are unsettled with yourself. Because you know there's something bigger in you than yourself. And as long as you continue to suppress what God put in you, you're going to always have trouble and a lack of peace in your life. Arise and go to Nineveh. Notice now, when God calls you, you got to move. No, no, you got to get up to where you are. I don't care where you are. I don't care what it is you're doing. I don't care what pleasure you're trying to enjoy. You got to get up and you got to move. And when God 